Oh my god, Femboy69, you're actually going to the gym? No way. You're meditating? You're reading? Journaling? You're pursuing your purpose? Femboy69, you feel good. I'm so proud of you. But after a week, we check on him again. And suddenly, he's stopped. He's stopped doing all the good habits. In fact, he's actually gone back to all the bad habits. He's tired. Unmotivated. Oh no, Femboy69. You're burnt out. What can we do to avoid this? And then, there's you. You're on self-improvement. You're training every single day. Meditating, going out to the gym, going into cold showers, improving your mental health. You're improving every single day. Yes, there are some days that you don't want to do it. But you stay consistent and you don't give up. You know, over a year ago, I was uploading consistently to YouTube. I was on self-improvement, I was meditating, I was... I was doing all the good habits. Running every single day, getting into cold showers, focusing on my mission, pursuing my purpose in life. I was doing good. I was, I was in a very good place. But then, all of a sudden, I stopped. I was doing this for like four months, consistently. And then, one day I woke up, and I just didn't want to. I had, it's almost as if I woke up and all my motivation just got up and left the door. I lost all of my motivation. And I remember I stopped everything. I stopped loading onto YouTube. I stopped going onto self-improvement. I stopped meditating. I stopped aiming to improve. I gave in to all the bad habits. Started drinking again. Got back into drugs. Got back into weed. Got back into video games. For almost two whole months, it was as if self-improvement was a distant memory. A complete past. Something that I couldn't even be bothered to go back on. I don't even remember why I suddenly had a change of heart and I decided to go back to all the bad habits. I don't even remember why. But it went on for two whole months. And I have to I hate to admit it, but I'm incredibly embarrassed of the things that I did. I would wake up at like 4pm after staying up and drinking all night at 5am in a club. That may be something that you are relating to right now. You know, you're getting consistent and then you burn out and then you lose all your motivation. You fall off self-improvement. Maybe you're relating to Femboy69. Maybe you're relating to him a little bit. So, how do you deal with burnout? What were the two things that I did that managed to break this cycle? Stick to the end because you're going to need both of them. And the last one is the most important. Let me uh, tell you a story about something that happened literally three days ago. Now, I was, it was a rainy day, you know, I woke up kind of latish, you know, and I really did not want to go to the gym. It was leg day. Now, most people in like the gym sort of community, most people don't like leg day because it hurts for days afterwards. You know, it hurts a long time. And it was leg day, I wasn't in the mood to go to the gym, I really didn't want to go. And for me, the hardest part was driving to the gym, because it's like a 30 minute journey, and I drive on a motorcycle. It was raining, it was grey, it was grim weather. But I managed to pull up the courage and go. I managed to get on my bike, on my motorbike, and drive. So I was driving through this horrible weather, it's absolutely pouring it down. I'm getting drenched, soaked, to the point that my socks are wet, and it's uncomfortable. I'm getting absolutely drenched. It's 30 minutes, but I get there. I arrive at my gym. I get there. I park. I get out my keys. I open the door. I get into the gym. I say hello to the person at the, the desk, the front desk. I walk inside. I see a couple of my friends. And then I look around. It's 6 p.m. And the gym is completely full. It is completely packed. There is... A bunch of young teenage boys. There's that, you know, TikTok girl that's like filming in the background. It was completely filled to the brim. Every single machine was being used. Every single dumbbell was being used. Nothing was free. I literally was looking around and I could do nothing. And I thought about going back home. I just drove 30 minutes in the rain and that's the hardest part for me like driving to the gym I and when I get into the gym I enjoy the workout 
for me, the problem is getting there. Um, and you know, I, I, I was, I did the hard work. I got there. I drove through the drenching, pouring rain, and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back home, without even doing a workout, without even going and doing what I wanted to get done there. Like I literally drove there and instantly thought, yeah, let's go back. I wasn't motivated during the morning, and I was thinking about going back. And then one of the racks, the machine uh, sort of racks, came free, so I could do squats. But even though it became free, I was telling myself, no, 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 it's too busy, go home, go home. It's too busy, no, there's no point, yeah, that's free now, but no, 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 just go home. It's too busy, it's too crowded, you prefer when it's quiet anyway. And I remember standing there, almost like slapping myself in the face and just saying to myself, shut the fuck up, brain, right now. Why are you trying so hard to convince yourself to not go, to drive home? You drove all the way here and you were just going to drive back? Why are you trying so hard to convince yourself to not put in the hard work? Shut the fuck up, brain. Shut up, monkey brain. I'm going to that squat bar right now and I'm doing a squat. I ended up having a pretty good, pretty good leg day sesh, you know, a pretty good, pretty good sesh at the gym. You know, I had a great leg pump. I felt pretty good. Now, the first thing I want us to identify is the problem. You know, for you, right? Maybe you've been super, super consistent. You know, you've actually been on self-improvement. You've been consistent. You've been getting up early. You've been training. You've been meditating, going to the gym, you know, pursuing your purpose, exercising, improving your mental health, becoming more attractive, improving at your level in the social hierarchy of life. You're actually doing really quite well. You're feeling really good. But then all of a sudden you wake up one day and it's like all your motivation's gone. You can't stay consistent. You start giving in to those excuses that your brain is coming up with. You start giving in and you end up skipping a day. Skipping two days. Skipping three days and before you know it, you're not consistent anymore and you've fallen out of it. Maybe that's a problem that you're struggling with right now. And the main problem of this is that we are not motivated. We have lost our motivation. We are tired. We have stopped doing all the really good habits. And maybe even worse, we've started giving in and doing the bad ones again. Going out drinking, getting back into drugs, playing video games all day and not doing anything else. Not even going outside of your room. Not even going outside. You have lost motivation to the point that you feel crushed. I'm going to get into the two secrets that I implemented that managed to change my life and actually not only get back into the good habits and, you know, get consistent again, but to completely destroy and break this cycle that I always seem to constantly come back to. Now, the first one is put it in front of you. So the good habit that you're trying to get back into, you know, the things you're trying to be consistent in, put it in front of you. You want to start drinking more water instead of Coca-Cola or like unhealthy sugary drinks or alcohol. You want to start drinking more water. Put it in front of you. When you wake up, the first thing you see out of your bed is a bottle of water or a glass of water. Oh, okay. Well, since it's already here, I may as well drink it. The good habits that you want to get back into, that you want to get consistent in again, put it in front of you. Oh, I want to get back into journaling. Put the book in front of you. Put it on your desk so you always see. I want to get back into the gym more. Make sure that your gym clothes is always out, visible. That it's very easy to go get your gym clothes and your gym shoes, your trainers are right by the door. So every time you leave your house, you see those shoes. You know what? I'm going to go to the gym today. You want to get back into reading. Reading good books such as Way of the Superior Man, Atomic Habits, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Nuclear Effect. You want to get back into reading. Pursuing your purpose, put it in front of you. Put the books in front of you, in your view. You know, there was a study that was done on people who had, you know, sugary and sort of junk food in their fridge compared to people who had fruit and veg out, you know, in a bowl in their fridge. The people who had junk food more visibly out so they could see it more often ate more junk food than the people who had fruit and veg out. And the people who had fruit and veg out more visible, you know, in the fridge more, they ate more than fruit and veg than the people who were eating junk food. But that sounds kind of obvious, doesn't it? That sounds really obvious. Well, yeah, it's the same principle. The thing you're trying to get back into, put it in front of you because you are 
a hundred times more likely to do it when you can see it. Now that one was kind of like the physical thing that you can do that did help quite a bit. But this next thing that I implemented, it's a mental thing. And this helped hugely. This is probably like the main thing that you should take from this video. And that is link the action to your dream life. I want to ask you a question. What is your dream life? What is your current goal? For me, I want to be a masculine man. I want to be a masculine man who's created that online business and is financially free. YouTube, I build a community. I help hundreds, hundreds of thousands of others, maybe even millions. I help as many other young men like me. I'm pursuing my purpose, but then I have the nice house, but I have the dream feminine wife, the dream wife that I could only dream to have, literally the perfect life. I wake up and this feminine woman is by my side. We get up early, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. We walk downstairs. We look out upon the land that we own. And I'm meditating, I'm gratitude journaling, we're both having a coffee. And then our kids wake up. Our kids wake up and my son comes and gives me the fattest hug. And he looks at me, the huge smile on his face. Dad, I want to be like you. You know, that sounds amazing, doesn't it? You know, I'm financially free, I'm pursuing my purpose. I've got the wife of my dreams, I've got the family of my dreams, I've got the house of my dreams, I've got the physique of my dreams, I'm literally the biggest and most shreddest I shredded I could possibly be. That sounds amazing. That's my dream life right now. Now maybe your dream, maybe you're 15 to 18, maybe your dream life is the same. You know, I'm getting up to my 20s, so I'm a little bit older than you maybe, but we've got the same dream maybe. You and I, we both have the exact same dream. Maybe for you, your current goal is different. Maybe for you, it's just to get absolutely shredded. You know, to look huge. To be able to bench 225 pounds or 100 kg. You know, maybe the physique is what you want. Maybe for you, it's your mental health. Maybe your mental health is really, really poor right now. And you that's your current dream right now, to have good mental health. So you're getting into meditation. You're getting into journaling. You're getting into all these good habits. Getting into cold showers. Going on to morning runs. What is your dream life right now? What is your current goal? Maybe it's to become a mixed martial artist and fight other other men. Brutally attack and beat the shit out of other men. And you're getting hit by other men too. Like what? What is your goal? Your dream life? Because you have something in mind. Whenever you feel unmotivated. You wake up and you're tired and you don't want to get back into the good habits again. You're falling off self-improvement, but you want to stay consistent, but you just simply have no motivation. You're tired. You're burnt out. Whenever you next feel unmotivated, I want you to think about that dream life you pictured so clearly. I want you to think about it as if you're living right there. I want you to think about your dream life and link the action to getting that dream life. You know, when I was going to the gym that other day and I was thinking about going home, you know, I drove there and was thinking about driving straight home because it was so busy. I didn't want to do legs. You know what I told myself? That made me actually do my workout. I thought about my physique in a year's time. My dream life. And I said to myself, no, that time is going to pass anyway. And if you stay consistent now, you will look like that. You will look like your dream physique in a year's time. So do not fall off and just go. And I did it. And it worked. And I stayed consistent. I managed to fix my mindset. I managed to stay disciplined. Okay, so we're in a different environment now because um, a bunch of horses came by and I was in their way of them eating like grass. So I, I, I got up and left. Um, you'll probably see a clip of them like coming, kind of looking at where I was sitting. Uh, but yeah, so the one thing that helped me actually stop myself from giving in to the excuses and staying there, staying disciplined, going to the gym and doing my leg day was thinking that this is going to lead to my dream life because it will. Going to the gym consistently will lead to my dream physique. All this effort you're putting in now, it will pay off. Over time on the long-term results, you will see a magnificent change in a year's time. So do not give up. Stay consistent. 
ultimately, that's the most important thing here to take from this video. Yes, to get back into the consistent habits that you were doing, put it in front of you, makes it way more likely that you'll do it. Linking the action to your dream life, fixing this mental problem that you have with trying to stay consistent and not feeling motivated. But the most important thing is staying consistent. Just try to improve and do a little bit more, even if it is as little as 1%. Just aim to do a little bit more each day. Aim to improve and try and aim to be better at least a little bit every single day. Look, maybe you're completely out of things and you were like me and you did absolutely nothing. You gave up on all the good habits and went to all the bad. But you know, maybe tomorrow I woke up, you know what? I'm not going to drink today. Maybe I didn't get into all the good habits straight away, but I, at least I didn't drink. At least I did something better than yesterday. It's the same thing with you. Maybe you're struggling to get up early. Try getting up a little bit earlier today or tomorrow and say so you did it all right cool you may have not gone to the gym and done a three-hour workout but at least you did something this is a problem that i struggled with for a very very long time a huge amount of time i struggled massively yeah staying consistent is hard man it is really fucking hard to stay consistent and like not give up but trust me all the effort that you are putting in right now be proud of it because it will pay off I hope you're good. I hope things have been, I hope things have been alright. And if you are someone who is trying to make a start, trying to make a change and improve their life, but you have no idea how or where to begin, this channel, this community, I will do everything that I can to give you all the resources so that you can, so that you can start on your own journey to become the best version of yourself. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, stay consistent and don't give up. Look at those horses, bro. Look at them. Oh, I think my phone's still over there. Oh, shit, it is. My phone's with the horses. Nah, there's one. There's one with them now. Nah, I'm just gonna. I ain't going back for it. <laughs> I ain't coming. It's over, proof of